creating children's learning or storybooks can be an excellent source of passive income. You can sell these books on platforms like Amazon, and the best part is, you don't need advanced skills to get started. With just basic design knowledge, AI can help you bring your book to life. In this video, I'll guide you through the entire process of creating a storybook from scratch, step by step. We'll cover everything from writing the story to generating images and designing the book's pages. Be sure to watch until the end, where I'll show you how to share your storybook in an interactive way, just like this. So, let's dive in. We'll be using two AI tools in Canva for the whole creation process. All the links are provided in the description below. First, we need a script for our story. For that, we'll use Gravity Write. If you already have a story, you can skip this part, but if not, don't worry. We're going to create an amazing story with Gravity Write. Just click the link in the description, and it'll take you straight to the tool. With Gravity Write, we can generate a story instantly by answering a few questions. First, enter the title of your story. If you haven't decided on one, you can simply enter a short description of the story you want to create. Then, select the type of story, the age range of your readers, and the number of characters. You can even give the characters names, but if you leave it blank, Gravity Write will create characters based on the story automatically. I'll let Gravity Write handle that for now. Next, choose how many pages you want in the story. The maximum is 10, so I'll go with that. After you've entered everything, just click Create Content and voila! Gravity Write has generated a complete story, along with prompts to create images for each page. Now that we've created an engaging story, it's time to make it visually appealing with some vibrant, eye-catching images that will grab kids' attention. So let's move on to the next step, generating images for the storybook. To do that, just click the link in the description, which will take you to the AI tool we'll be using for image generation. In this part, we'll be using an AI chatbot called Not Diamond, which works similarly to ChatGPT, but we'll be using it for image generation. You can use any image generator you prefer, but for this tutorial, I'm going with Not Diamond. First, make sure to enable these two options in the settings. You'll notice it supports models like Doll Middle.E3, Flux Dev, and Stable Diffusion for generating images, and the best part is the tool will automatically choose the best model for each task. Now, let's go back to Gravity Write and select the first prompt for the cover page of our storybook. Copy the prompt and paste it into the chatbot. Click the Submit button, and wait for the magic to happen. Here we go. The tool has generated images using two different models. Pick the one you like best and download it. Repeat this process for all the images you need, but remember, these images are only available for a limited time, so download them to your device to save them. I've now generated all the images using the prompts provided by Gravity right in the story script. Once the images are ready, the next step is designing the storybook. For this, we'll use Canva. Click on Create New Design and search for Storybook. Here it is. You'll see several templates to choose from, but I'm going to design it from scratch. Start by uploading all the images we just generated. Now, change the background color of each page as per your preference and duplicate the pages according to the number of story pages. On the first page, add the cover image, no need to make any changes to it. Moving on to the second page, we'll add a frame to place the image in. Canva provides different frame options, so choose one you like. I'll go with this one. Next, we need to add the text from Gravity Write for the first page. You can choose a fancy text style, but I'll keep it simple by adding a basic text box. Now, copy the text from Gravity Write, paste it into the text box, and adjust its position along with the image. The page is looking good, but we can make it even better by adding some graphic elements. Let's head over to the Elements section, search for something that fits the story theme. For example, my story has animal characters, so I'll search for a forest-themed element. Click See All to browse different options, choose one you like, and drag it onto the page. Adjust the size and position to fit nicely with the layout. To make the image stand out, we'll reduce the transparency of the graphic elements. Just click on the element, and adjust the transparency to your liking. Now, the page looks much more vibrant and fun. Kids will love it. 
follow the same process for the next page, add a new page, a frame, the image, the text, and some graphic elements. At the end of the book, use the image we generated for the last page as the background. No further adjustments are needed here. Once you've added all the pages, your storybook should look like this. Looks great, doesn't it? You can even download it as a PDF by clicking share, then download. However, reading a PDF can be a bit dull for kids. Wouldn't it be better if we could turn this PDF into an interactive flipbook? Something that feels like a real book as you turn the pages? Let's move to the final step, where we convert our storybook into a flipbook. To do this, go to Share, click More, then scroll down and select Hazing Flipbooks. Now, choose the pages you want to include in the flipbook, I'll select all of them. Click Done and save your design. Once saved, you can view the flipbook directly in Hazine. Keep in mind, the flipbook will be deleted after a week unless you log into Hazine, so click register and sign in with your Google account to save it permanently. Now, let's enhance our flipbook with page effects. Click on page effects, select the book effect, and click close. Your interactive flipbook is now ready. You can click to turn the pages, or use the arrow keys to scroll through them. The flipbook looks beautiful and is much more engaging for kids. If you want to share this flipbook with friends and family, just click share, copy the link, and send it to your loved ones. You can also share it on platforms or websites that offer content for children. And that's how you can easily create an attractive kid's storybook. That's all for today. I hope you've learned something new. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.